Hey guys, what is up? And today we're going to be making a boss battle game on Scratch. So yeah, let's just get right into it. Um, so first off, what you want to do is delete Mr. Scratch Cat. I feel bad for it, but okay. And so we need three sprites right now. We need the ground, we need um our player, and we need the boss himself. Or itself. So... I'm just gonna draw a player really quickly, or, or you, you can find one on the internet if you want. Um, I'll just draw one, and yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so guys, um, I'm done drawing my player, and as you can see, it's not too, um, it's like nothing too, um, complex. Um... I kept it simple just for the purposes of this video. And you can notice I didn't give him give him any arms. Um because that's because um our sword is actually just gonna be a different sprite. So yeah. And so what we should so I'm just gonna now call this costume idol. Alright, then I'm gonna duplicate this and I'm gonna call this walk. And then you know, just bring one of his legs down. And then I just duplicate this. And then I can flip it horizontally. Actually, no, don't. Let's not do that. How about I just do this and this. And then I flip them horizontally. There. Alright. So, idle. And then this is like a run or walk cycle. And yeah, so nothing too complicated. And also, I'm going to call this player. So we actually do need another sprite. We need a sprite called Hitbox. We need to call this player Hitbox. And so what you want to do is you want to copy your player sprite. And then paste it into here. And then go to the square tool. And just have no outline. And literally just draw a square over most of your player's body so like that but make sure his legs it's like yeah his legs are a little bit more covered okay and then you can drag that to the side um get rid of that and boom so now you should have a sprite called player hitbox which is literally just this uh plain square and then your player itself also we need the ground so let's real quickly just draw a ground. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna go for this for now. Um, it's gonna be. It's not gonna be too complicated. All right. So now let's call this ground. And then in the ground, you want to do one green flag clicked. Go to zero zero. And then set size to one hundred. And that'll do that. Also, now, in the player hitbox, go to the player hitbox, and then do when green flag clicked forever. Wait, no, first of all, let's see what size we should make it. 50, maybe 50, I think 50 is good. Uh, set size to 50, and then let's make you start off, like, right up there. Uh, alright, so yeah and then uh let's make some gravity so go into the variables tab and delete the my variable and make a variable called gravity and then at the beginning let's set gravity to negative five and then forever change y by gravity by gravity and you can see the black square will start to fall but we want it to detect the ground so what we do is we add a if and then touching ground so if this is touching ground then we're going to change y by five and it's important you get these numbers right because um then all right look this is a bug so what happened is that it's not exactly totally on 
And if you do four, you can see it's going to start to sink. Let's see, well, what happens if you do 4.5? Okay, it starts to sink really slowly. 4.9. Okay, it still sinks. Bruh. Alright, 5. Yeah, 5. And then, what if, what if we move the hitbox down a little bit? Like that. No, alright. Center your sprites. N never forget to center. Um, I want to see if my player is centered. See, my player wasn't centered. You should center your sprites always. Because if you don't, then it just makes it, um, really hard and confusing. But, I mean, it's fine if it does that because the player's legs, you won't be able to tell with them. Um, so yeah. And then we can do, we can... Drag out another when green flag clicked, a forever loop, and then a if, key space pressed, set gravity to what, five, um, then wait point zero point three seconds, then set gravity back to negative five, and then the square will be able to jump. You know what, let's change this to... Point 0.6. I mean, that, that's, that's too big of a jump. Alright, point 0.5. Okay, I guess point 0.5. It's not bad. Alright. Let's do point 0.5. And then let's add a if. Key right arrow pressed. Change X by 10. Well, let's do 6. And then if key left arrow key pressed. Change X by negative six. Boom. And now you just have basic controls. Except for this glitch where you can spam space and you'll go flying. Also, um you wanna add this uh one key right arrow and left arrow in a separate one green flag clicked. So it makes things easier. Yeah. And alright. So we have basic controls except for the part where our player can, you know, yeah. So, what we just do is we add a cooldown. We just wait one second. So, no, let's add like 0.7, 0 0.7. Because, um, yeah, it takes like 0 0.7 seconds for the player to get all the way down here. So, yeah, 0 0.7 seconds. And then your player won't be able to like jump in midair. So yeah, that's that's cool. And then all right. So after we have that, so now we go into our player sprite, like the actual player with the art on it. And then we do when green flag clicked forever. And then we go into sensing. All right. And we drag out this backdrop of stage block. And then in the stage, we do we click player hitbox. And over here, we just type go to player hitbox. We write uh, go to player hitbox. Go into looks. We set size to size of player hitbox. And oh wait, right. Also, go to front layer. And you can still see you see the black thing. So, in uh, the player hitbox, you want to add a set ghost effect to 99.999. No, 99.999. Yeah. And when you have that, your player hitbox will hide. And what the cool thing about this is that the 99.999, um, it means the hitbox can still collide with other things, but it's hidden. So yeah, that's just really cool. Also, what you want to do in your art is um, to stop it from cutting like that. You just want to add a no fill and no outline square around your um, object. So just make a square like this and put it in all of your costumes. Bam. And now, 
you can see that our player is looking pretty nice. And then, also let's um add an, oh no, not add a comment. Let's uh, add another when green flag clicked forever. And then let's do if key right press. Then we do next costume. <laughs> He's just bouncing now. Oh my god, that's so funny. Also, point in direction 90. And let's add a weight 0 0.05 seconds. And there you go. It looks like he's walking. It even has the head bob. Uh, and then we do the same thing with the left arrow key. Point in direction. Negative 90. And boom. Boom. Oh, yeah. Your player goes upside down. That's not fun. So, uh, we go into the motions tab and drag out a set rotation style to left and right right there. And then boom. Problem solved. And then, let's add a sword. Wait, so if I go to choose a costume, I know there's a knight, right? Knight. This guy, wait. Yeah, this guy. See, he has the sword, so I'm just gonna get rid of everything else that he has. And his sword is right there. Also, let me ungroup this. Actually, no, 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 no. You know what? Um, I'm gonna draw my own sword. I feel like that sword is just... Nah, I don't like that sword. <laughs> okay, boom. Let's go like this, and then like that. And then let's set the outline to 12. No, 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 7. Alright, yep. And then that. And then this. And we go like that, make it gray, go to back layer, and literally just add one of these things to it, okay, let's add a line to it, alright, boom, um, this is a very, very simple and, um, I mean, it doesn't look too good, but that's only for video purposes. You guys should make it look a ton better. Okay, this sword actually isn't that bad, now that I think about it. It's pretty good. Okay. Um, so let's call this sword. And then let's do when green flag clicked, point in direction zero. Yep. Yep. Also, wait, another thing we can do is um, copy one of your player costumes and then paste it into the sword. And then, oh my god, wait. Paste it into the sword. And I'm going to take my sword and I'm going to group it real quick and put it right there. Okay, so then put your player uh, centered and then see where you want your sword so um, the player is going to hold the sword like that all right so now i'm just going to delete the player okay and it, i'm going to keep the sword right there and now i'm going to do forever go to player and there you go it sort of works let's do 90 actually point direction 90 boom see the sword is right there but if you don't want to do that let's not do that and then let's just make it go center and then you can see that it's just really weird so we just do that and then we drag this thing out player exposition plus like what 20 Yep, and then Y position, plus 20, bruh, wait. Um, okay, X position plus 40, no, 50, 100, 80. Um, alright, I think this is good. 
Okay, but guys, that is going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys next time. So, peace out.